the magical seal of Sirius. The magic just keeps on coming, right? Sirius is what is called a Bohemian fixed star. And so um, fixed stars are called that because in the general scheme of things, as the Earth rotates on its axis, as, as it uh, travels its orbit around the sun, certain stars don't seem to move very much. And so they're called fixed. You know, they're quite motionless if you compare them to the planets and, and to the moon. So the Bohemian fixed stars, there's 15 of them, and they are selected, they're, they're considered especially useful for magical applications. This, this term comes from uh, medieval times, and so they were used in the medieval astrology of Europe and the Arab world. And um, the name is arrived, uh, derived from the Arabic word baman, meaning root. Uh, and so Bohemian stars were considered a source or a root of astrological power that was additionally magnified whenever one or more of the visible planets were within six degrees. So there, there's additional magical time um, whenever there is this conjunction again or, or within six degrees. So these Bohemian stars um, played a very important role in ancient magic, ancient astrology. Each one of these Bohemian stars was assigned or, or a, a symbol was created for each one of them, a unique symbol, a Kabbalistic symbol. And so the one that you see there on the screen is the symbol of Sirius. And I have an oracle deck and I'll share that with you as we get towards the end. And so this is uh, one that I painted. This is a painting from my oracle deck that includes the Kabbalistic sign uh, or the magical seal of Sirius. So the ancient alchemists operated from the awareness that under certain celestial influences, magic was more likely to occur, right? Especially when worked with consciously. And so there, there are other associations with each of these Bohemian stars. There's a, an herb and a crystal uh, that's associated with each of the stars. And so you can, if you, if you have those things available or can procure them, they can assist you in your, in your magical preparations, in your ceremonies. And so associated with Sirius, we have juniper as the herb and barrel. And there are different types of barrel. So that includes aquamarine, bixbite, emerald, goshenite, heliodor, and morganite. So there's multiple different kinds of barrel that you can use. And so while the classical association with Sirius is barrel, there are more modern associations um, of specific stones or minerals that include super seven, iridescent fluorite and sintamani. So these are all elements um, that can help you connect, like to, to pull in and hold and work with uh, infusions of energy from Sirius. And they, these can also be used just in your meditation practice to put on your altar, to take into dream time, to help you um, if you create whatever it is that you do in your life where you're creating, visioning, trying to, to pull in information to make decisions. You can use all of these different stones and elements um, if you choose to connect with Sirius and align with the, the energies and the guides and the influence of Sirius to support you. Okay. So I just giving you a whole lot of information. And so let's just take a minute and just take a breath because, it, you know, intellectually there's a lot coming at you, but I also understand that this information, seeing these symbols and being um, presented with these sort of ancient pieces of esoteric knowledge can also be very activating. And so what I want to create uh, and make space for in this moment is let, to let's have an experiential activity, right? We don't want this to just all be intellectual and taking notes and, and straining the brain. We need to get an experiential 
feeling um, because that is where wisdom comes from, right? Knowledge is of the brain, wisdom is of the body, and we get that through the experience. And so um, I, I'm going to digress for just a moment. When I was 18, um, well, I was 17 when I left to go to college. So my freshman year, I was 17 and 18. My parents, my dad and stepmom got divorced. So that summer after my freshman year, long story, I was living with my stepmom. <laughs> And she found Jesus <laughs> and took me to uh, a gathering with a woman who called in the Holy Spirit. So I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what to expect. My stepmother and I had a very contentious relationship, you know, so I was just going along basically because I kind of got drug along. But what happened was this woman who called in the Holy Spirit called in the Holy Spirit and all of us who were there in attendance together started speaking in tongues, including me. I was 18. I had no idea what to do with this for years. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't speak it out loud. I didn't know what to make of it. Um, it wasn't that I didn't believe in God, but I was still very early in my searching about who God was to me and trying to reconcile what I had learned growing up Lutheran versus what made sense to me and didn't make sense to me. So when my spiritual awakening began, what I came to understand is that this is light language. And that's, that's what I choose to, to term it, is instead of speaking in tongues, to me it is a light language. And so... I would like to guide you through an activity to connect with Sirius, to call in if you choose, if it's meaningful to you, your Syrian guide or a Syrian guide. And so as I do that, I am going to be speaking light language. So I invite you all now to take a nice deep breath and begin to close your eyes and depending on where you are in the world, you might be in snow, you might be in sun, it might be winter, it might be summer, you might be wearing shoes or not, but I want you to mush your feet around in your shoes or on the floor, and so no matter what the climate is, what the weather is outside where you are, Imagine that you are plunging your feet into your favorite version of Mother Earth. That could be grass, mud, water, warm sand. And just feel yourself making a connection with the Earth. Drawing those Earth energies up into your heart center. <sighs> And bring your consciousness now to the crown of your head, feeling your crown soften, opening up that energetic portal to receive energy, light, consciousness, vision from the great all that is, the universe, your higher self, your soul, your guides, Feeling that universal consciousness coming in through your crown, meeting with that earth energy in your heart. In the chakra system, the heart is the center. It is the alchemical blending of the above and below, the inner and the outer. And so feel those energies blending in your heart. And so as we take this guided journey to connect with the Syrian energies, Anchor that experience in your heart space. The heart is the place through which we ground, where we find our center. And so as we begin this process, just imagine your consciousness now moving out through the crown of your head keeping track of where you are 
in the 3D on the planet in a way, leaving a trail of breadcrumbs for your consciousness to find its way back to your body easily. Feel a portal opening through the crown of your head, a wormhole, if you will, taking your consciousness to the star Sirius, moving through space and time, traveling through the dimensions, knowing that you are safe and protected. Feel yourself moving through that wormhole and arriving in a dimensional way it's serious and maybe you see the stars maybe you see serious b and c maybe you get an experience of what it feels like on the planet but allow your consciousness to find a place to settle whether it's in a beautiful garden if you're especially connected to water, it may feel good to be floating on the surface of the water or under the water, but find your place. Allow Sirius to invite you where it wants to hold you and cradle you while you have this experience. And I am going to begin speaking softly, light language while you have this experience of meeting with a Syrian guide, which may show up in the form of something identifiable, like a body or an animal, or it might just be a blob of energy. Allow your higher self, your inner shaman to direct you through this experience while I'm speaking light language of connecting with your guide or a series of guides or a team, a collective, communicating, asking questions, receiving messages, trusting that whatever experience you have is the experience that you are meant to have. <laughs> みんなのみんなのしゅしゅくでべとかかいとしばか。てれにみんなのやいかわろうへけだらでよしみんなねねわなまおこだ。いやあ、やめしゅしゃいかろうとみんなとしゅしにべれとよかおむのまおは。みん
Gently and slowly begin to bring your experience to a close, knowing that this experience occurred in both nonlinear time and linear time, and that while in linear time this was only a few minutes, that you can connect with this experience, with this transmission, with this experiential kinesthetic feeling in your body at any time and know that it is eternal, that it will last as long and be as deep and detailed as you need. And so collect the elements of this experience, whatever you saw, whatever you felt, whatever you heard, whatever you smelled, whatever you tasted, collecting all of the pieces of this journey, bowing in gratitude to your Syrian guides, and calling yourself back to the wormhole through which you traveled, safely, wholly, moving back through this wormhole, through this portal, coming back to your body, wherever you are in space-time, in the 3D, feeling your consciousness coming back through your crown, descending into your heart space, anchoring there. Open your eyes, very gently allowing the room to come back into view. Take some deep breaths. I don't know about you, but I am definitely buzzing. I am feeling the vibration and the, the zzz that I get uh, when very high frequencies are present. And so you might take a moment if you need to just place hands on yourself to kind of locate yourself back in your body, massage your thighs, wiggle your feet, wiggle around in your chair, take some deep breaths, take a moment to make a few notes if you need to, or some things to cue you so that you can go back and journal about this experience and reflect on it. So we are coming now near to the end of this presentation. And so I want to share with you a poem that I absolutely love. We have calcium in our bones, iron in our veins, carbon in our souls, and nitrogen in our brains. 93% stardust with souls made of flames. We are all just stars that have people names. So I want to thank you for being with me for this very brief initiation into the star mysteries of Sirius. I'm gonna share just a little bit about uh, the work that I do in the world. I am an award-winning 
author and international bestseller of The Evolutionary Empath. I've been an empath my entire life, uh, but for the first 30 years, I didn't know it. So a huge part of my spiritual awakening was coming to understand myself as an empath. And so The Evolutionary Empath is a gold award winner, international bestseller. It's been published in four languages. It's published traditionally by Inner Traditions. And there is an audio book available that's read by me. Uh, my other work is called Empath Activation Cards. And so this is the deck that I was talking about when I showed you the painting of Sirius and the Kabbalistic symbol. And so this deck has won five awards for both the Oracle, the guidebook, and the art. It is a 44-card deck, and I have painted, Not in, in addition to writing the deck, I am also the artist. And so you can see several of those pieces of art on the front of that. Um, and if there's artwork that speaks to you, if you choose to get the deck, or if you just want some artwork, the artwork is available for sale on my website. So you can purchase, if you choose, directly from me on my website, boostartemple.org, to get a signed copy with a personalized inscription, or you're welcome to go to your favorite bookseller. Additionally, if you choose to follow me and be a part of my community, if you subscribe to my newsletter, you can receive a free download that I created, a PDF that's called 11 Self-Care Must-Haves for Empaths, Lightworkers, Starseeds, and Wayshowers again at bluestartemple.org. Um, I teach classes, I give interviews, I work with clients one-on-one. -on -one. So if there's uh, a resonance or you wanna reach out to me or do additional work uh, with me, I welcome that, I invite that. So thank you so much for your time.